Hot. circuit breakers, right? Just like your circuit breaker panel in your house. In terms of mobility, not like fighters or 22s, 35s. But I mean, this jet's 30 years old. Like, during the pre flights, like, we're hitting a lot of these buttons. And then if you're going switches, making sure everything's in the proper position. Uh, but like, the C-17 was designed in the early 80s. The first one was delivered, I believe, in 92. It depends on your, all the way up. So I got my fuel panel. I got so, my hydraulics. So we deploy. And, and if you know what that is, it can be here's the same thing for engine number two. Yeah, here's three. So this is different. Four. Four. Oh, and so this is like what? Like the director of operations? Is that what? What rank would that be? Lieutenant Colonel. Oh, so five. So so. so.
Sebastian Somoza Reina. It's S E B A S T I N S O M O Z A hyphen R E I N A. Uh, I'm a I'm a MLRS Mic 270 Alpha One Gunner with two four. So today, essentially, all we're doing is um, we're, we're, we're inspecting the launchers. We're gonna load them onto the planes, and then tomorrow we're gonna conduct a, an air raid training mission. That's pretty much it. So we were conducting a pre-inspection. It was essentially just getting, just making sure our batteries are good, making sure our our LM and everything can work, uh, making sure there's no leaks. That's uh, pretty much uh, what, what falls under their their inspect their pre-inspection. Our pre-inspection is just um, it's a regular PMCS monthly during and after PMCS. We'll check uh, fluid levels. We'll check uh, fuel. Fuel has to be at half a tank, and um, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. The, the pre-inspections are probably the, the easiest part. So prior, we prepared for for about a month out. We uh, started off with radios. That's our first. That's, for every mission, that's our first check is radios. If we, if we can come up on communications, on decoms, things of that nature, and then after that, we'll start. We'll work on the launcher. If it needs uh, new batteries, if it needs new track pads, which is what we did. Uh, if it needs. Um, any fluid levels, fluid levels and radios are the most important thing when it comes to making sure this launcher is up and ready to go. So I'm going to be driving this one right here, uh, Alpha 42. I'm filling in for their driver. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I came into the Army in 2020 and I got to I got to 2-4 in April of 2021. So it's been since then. I started off in support, then I moved on to driver, then I just got promoted to a gunner. That's all I did was look into the doctor, and that's all. That's that's all I did for prep, and um, just getting familiar with my with this with this launcher. I'm not used to driving, so definitely looking into the doctor. And the doctor covers everything when it comes to land raids and stuff like that. It focuses the doctor and focuses on um, on loading onto a C-17, which is what we're gonna do tomorrow. It's a fun job. The field, from from what I've heard, most in the army, the field is is it's a regular it's regular fields, but for this one, the field is not. It's far from regular. It's uh, it's very fun. You shoot rockets. You uh, you drive. Driving the launcher is probably the funnest job. The funnest job we have in 13 Mike for sure. Oh, we're beyond, we're beyond prepared for the for the, for the mission tomorrow. Um, I'm 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 excited. I'm, ex I'm extremely excited. We're beyond prepared, as usual. So I'm First Lieutenant Morton, uh, Demari Morton, uh, spelled D-A-M-A-R-I-A -A Morton, M-O-R-T-O-N, and I'm currently in. Uh, 2-4 Battalion. Uh, I'm a Bravo 2nd second, second Fire Splatoon Leader, so that's my position. We came out here uh, to prepare for the air raid mission tomorrow. Um, today we're just doing joint inspections, just ensuring that our equipment is ready and that um, everything is good to go, that our crews are trained up and prepared uh, to conduct the mission tomorrow. So just hazmat, things like that, and making sure the weight requirements are on, and we're going to do later on, we're going to do some um, reloading, uploading, downloading training just to ensure that uh, everyone knows what to do so it'll, sm sm it'll run smoothly tomorrow. So basically we have our equipment here as you can see um, we brought over our vehicles and everything and we have the Air Force guys coming in inspecting our stuff doing their um, inspections that they have obviously prior to uploading onto the, um, the airplane so yeah their own inspections. So we're going to obviously have the vehicles loaded up on the craft aircraft and we're going to fly around and then land back at Fort Sill so that we can conduct an air mission. So for fire mission, for the actual mission, our fire mission processing, we do that every Tuesday usually. Uh, we have the launcher crews get in and we'll shoot it from our battery operations center to the platoon operations center and then they shoot it down to the launchers and then that's how sort of the flow of the mission goes. And uh, we do that training every Tuesday, but for this, this is new for us, but it's exciting because we never get to come out here. Well, we haven't before come out here and done this. So um, just getting out here with the Air Force guys and seeing how they do their inspections and how they upload and download the vehicles. Uh, this is new for most of us, but exciting to experience it, so. Just this experience with them coming out early so we know what to do to prepare for tomorrow. I think we all appreciate the opportunity. It's just a great experience to come out here and be able to um, sort of do something that's never done before, you know. It's kind of nerve-wracking because we're like, oh, how's this going to work? But um, I think seeing it done, hopefully in the future, uh, this is good training for us to be able to interact with Air Force and do these joint training. So, 
hopefully after this goes well tomorrow, which I believe it will, then um, we'll see more training like this in the future.